What's up guys, Anthony here with McGee's Garage and today we have a mission. We're gonna take my Ford Ranger on a 120 mile road trip to get new wheels for this truck. They're pretty cool, they're three spoke directional, old school billets, it's kind of what I've been looking for for the truck. I found a set within my budget, so I'm gonna go get them. But first, we gotta do some maintenance and I got a bunch of motor craft here, NGK spark plugs, some synchro mesh additive, we're gonna go ahead and give this thing a little bit of a tune-up, get it to run better, and then see how it does on the trip. I've had this thing for a few months now, and I've put, I don't know, let's say 5,000 miles on it. I bought this thing to be a fuel-efficient wheel runner because I buy a lot of wheels. Me and my dad kind of have a problem where we're Facebook Marketplace addicts, in case you guys couldn't figure that out. Uh, but anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, see if this thing will make it. A cool thing I, I got off of uh, Facebook this is a called turtle box i'm not sponsored by them god i i wish i was but i'm not basically it's got 25 hours of battery life you can drop it from 10 feet it floats it's waterproof all that good stuff and uh it charges it's going to be charging my gopro because i forgot to put it on charge and it's like super loud i'm just trying to smoke my gold watch anime yeah. pull up in that candy paint i'm switching lanes yeah. yellow gold all so i mean yeah it's that's like not even you guys probably can't tell but that's like not even halfway it's made specifically to be played outside and you can get two of them and link them up together we'll see how i'm doing at the end of the year but uh that'd be pretty cool big big oliver francis fan here so i'm gonna be playing that charging my gopro just doing some work on the ranger hold my drain plug for my uh transmission here uh i've seen a lot better but i've also seen a lot worse so nothing i'm gonna do about it right now all right so i'm a little messed up right now um i had to hose off i got ethanol on my pores uh, i did the fuel filter this is the original one or not original this is the one i took out of there it says china on it it's not an original one but like you see how nasty that is i'm not sure if you guys can see it on camera but it's like brownish and it's like got something shaking around in there i don't know my motorcraft that i put on didn't have that but i put it on and i got soaked with gas from that f filter and did the trans fluid uh it wasn't too bad i used one of these pumps it was worth the 10 bucks i'm gonna try and do the spark plugs as well i got some ngks in here just was using up some atf that we had laying around this is uh this was like in the passenger seat of a ram charger we ended up picking up Yeah, that's that's pretty much the update wheel guy texted me about 10 minutes ago so i'm gonna have to get showered and go pretty soon here but i think i got time to do six spark plugs so when i do my uh spark plugs i like to do an easy one make sure they're about the same well they are they have to be the same or you're gonna have a bad time you can see that this one's i mean it's it's an ngk i was surprised about that i was expecting to find no names in there they're a different part number these i got the ngk r's you can see that this one has very small tip on it and it's definitely got a lot of miles so i'm just gonna go ahead and do them all so this is what's left of uh my maintenance stuff these are the spark plugs they don't look bad i go put these up grab a quick shower and then uh we're gonna hit the road see what she'll do hopefully what she does is make it from my home to the wheels and back that's the plan anyway Alrighty, guys i'm about ready to go i got my a uh, carry pouch and my tool bag be pretty good i don't see any uh leaks or anything around my fuel filter i wasn't sure if i was going to be able to get the quick connects on right because sometimes they're tricky to get on 
but uh, I think I think I got it. I did start up the Ranger. It runs uh, noticeably better, actually. So hopefully uh, this trip is uh, pretty good. It's a little bit of highway driving. Got my uh, turtle box in there. That's my audio. That's that's my old Bluetooth speaker right there. Shout out Greg Johnson giving me that. But uh, that turtle box is a lot better. It's also way more expensive. Phone charger. The cigarette lighter in this truck actually doesn't work. So I, I'm using the turtle box with that cord to charge my GoPro on my phone and everything. I'm gonna go ahead and check the uh, tire pressure first and then I'm gonna hit the road. All right, we're entering uh, Polk County, home of Grady Judd. In Fort Turtle box miles. bumping, let's freaking go. We're cruising out on I-4, doing pretty good. Ranger's doing good, we're only gonna make it back, hopefully. Wheels in the bed. Gonna go over them at my uh, exit. We're gonna pull over at a gas station and uh, go over the wheels. Here they are, I believe they're, they're either progressives or eagles. Uh, they didn't come with caps, but that's not really a big deal. They, it's got both directions, so I mean that's more than most of them. Uh, they're even the right bolt pattern. I stopped right here because I also wanted to take a look at this truck. It's a little bit rougher than I originally imagined, but it'd be a good parts truck for me. It's got some color matching going on. 210,000, 15, ah, 15,000, I don't know. Uh, Okay, so that's a that's a gas motor. That's not worth it. Sorry. Ranger's doing good. If it makes it home, it'll be about over 100 miles to get these. So that's pretty cool. This truck shifts so much nicer with the uh, synchro mesh. So much better. A lot smoother. I love it. Great. All right, guys, we made it back to the house. Here we go. I already ordered uh, 185s for these. These are 295 55s, way too big, way too big. Steamroller tires. Uh, these are gonna look great. I'm gonna polish them up. And I got this in the mail. I'm gonna try and throw this on, get a race steering wheel going, or get one of those uh, universal steering wheels going. Disconnected my battery, gonna try and pull this wheel off. I'm not sure how you do it, but I mean, I think I'm going the right way all right so i got the wheel on pretty much nothing fit <laughs> i had to do some of my own fabrication in here to get this to work supposedly this was going to work on this ranger but it didn't got it on anyway though it's in an okay place i don't have a tilt column so it's whatever probably going to end up returning this amazon wheel i just kind of wanted to see how i felt with a wheel like this in this truck uh, i got a momo that i'm probably going to end up throwing on there but you know, that's the story of my life. 45 minute install turns into two hours. That's pretty much it for this episode of McGee's Garage. Thanks for tuning in today. I appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next one.